Hi, my name is Rodney Peterson, and I am the Managing Director of the EDUCAUSE Washington office and the staff leader of our cybersecurity initiative. The EDUCAUSE Cybersecurity Initiative is perhaps most visible to the community from the work of the Higher Education Information Security Council, or HISC. In the decade that EDUCAUSE, Internet2, and HISC have been focused on helping colleges and universities improve their security posture, we have witnessed significant progress and developed a deeper understanding of and response to cybersecurity issues. Larry Conrad, CIO at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and a past co-chair of HISC offers the following perspective. It's been a move from security as some ancillary thing really into the mainstream. You can't really ignore information right. security today. It's, it's sort of right there. So there's been that shift in, in the focus on it. It's also, I think, uh, shifted from being, well, that's that IT thing. The IT guys have to worry about. Now I think there's a greater acceptance and understanding that, no, this is something everybody has to worry about. Michelle Noren, CIO at the University of Arizona and a current co-chair of HISC, describes the importance of security in her role as a CIO. Cybersecurity for me is always part of my top 10 list. It does not fall below top 10. Now, it might be 10 out of 1 to 10, or it might be 2, depending on, you know, kind of where we're at in that cycle. But for me, it's always, it's always a, t a top priority in the top 10. Mm -hmm. HISC has established three main working groups to develop resources in the areas of awareness and training, governance, risk, and compliance, sometimes referred to as GRC, and technologies, operations, and practices. Our community of volunteers help coordinate month-long campaigns for National Cybersecurity Awareness Month in October and Data Privacy Month in January. We also host an awareness poster and video contest for college students. Winning submissions are frequently used by campuses in their security awareness campaigns. All of these efforts are meant to provide our community with strategies and practical tools they can use on campus. Other resources we've recently developed for the higher education community include a FAQ on GRC systems, mobile device security guidelines, a sensitive data incident checklist, a two-factor authentication guide, and a toolkit for new chief information security officers. All of these toolkits and more can be found in the information security guide, a compilation of resources for colleges and universities actively maintained by a group of higher education security professionals. You'll find general guidance and case studies on topics such as security policies, compliance, operations, and incident management. The guide is organized around the ISO 27002 standard, like many campus information security programs, and it cross-references other standards like NIST, COBIT, and PCI DSS. This past year, we celebrated the 10th anniversary of the Security Professionals Conference with over 400 Chief Information Security Officers, CIOs, Chief Privacy Officers, and other security professionals. Whether you participate as a program committee member, presenter, attendee, or mentor, our annual event offers excellent content as well as career development and networking opportunities with your security peers. The conference allows us to reflect on the biggest challenges currently facing security professionals in higher education. Each year we ask attendees to share their biggest challenge or what they think will be the next hot topic. This is not only helpful to the program committee as we set the tone for the upcoming conference, but HISC also uses these topics to make sure we're providing our community with the right resources at the right time. For example, we expect BYOD or Bring Your Own Device, mobile security, cloud security, and data protection to be featured heavily next year. HISC members have been talking these past several months about how to address security issues in the cloud and processes for vetting the security practices of third-party providers. More recently, BYOD, or Bring Your Own Device, has become the issue du jour, and HISE volunteers have been working to understand the privacy and security challenges of BYOD, and have issued some guidance on mobile device security. So even though the issues and challenges facing campus security and privacy professionals are constantly evolving in unpredictable ways, we continue to work with our volunteers and partners to help improve information sharing, networking, career development, 
and effective practices among our community. I invite you to explore what the Higher Education Information Security Council has to offer you and your campus. You can learn more on our website at educause.edu slash security. We also hope that you'll share your important contributions with our community and consider volunteering.